Welcome to this week's Commercial Real Estate Update. I'm Tom Dakin, business reporter at the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel and writer of the Land and Space Commercial Real Estate blog at jsonline.com. Well, this week, Walmart moved forward with two large supermarket and discount stores in both West Milwaukee and South Milwaukee. In West Milwaukee, the Village Board voted to spend $4.2 million in public funds in connection with that development. Roughly $3 million of that amount will be spent on public improvements such as road work and other site work that need to be done to help clear the site for the new store. That site's about a block east of Miller Parkway and south of Greenfield Avenue and is currently occupied by a mostly empty strip mall and some underused industrial buildings. Most of those structures will be demolished. Roughly a million dollars of the public funds will be spent to renovate a small portion of the strip mall to accommodate Family Dollar and another tenant. The developer of the project, Frank Gatlin, said that money was needed because he was unable to buy out Family Dollar from its lease and the rent being paid by Family Dollar will not cover the renovations to the building. Meanwhile, in South Milwaukee, that project moved forward when a city agency recommended the sale of a city-owned parcel to accommodate a store that would be built near College and Chicago Avenues. That's it for this week. Please check back again next week for another real estate report.